Go on. Uh, let's see here. Okay, today, um, is gonna be kind of just like a little special effects stream. So I have this, uh, giant slime mini-boss, which is, uh, pretty simple. He only has two attacks. Just to kind of teach you how to play the game. So he's got this jump attack. Um, and that's the attack. I'm gonna add some just kind of, uh, flame effects when he hits the ground. That's spread out. It's kind of like a AoE attack. Um, I'm gonna use... Let's see, what's this program called? Fluid FX. Pixel FX, uh, animation software. Uh, which I've only used, I think, once for some smoke on something else. But, uh, it seems pretty cool. So I'm gonna add... Some flame effects with the same color as his flame hair there. And, uh, yeah, see how that goes. The general idea... Let me make him, um... Only jump, so I'm testing this. That would be... Step one. so that he always jump attacks while we're, while, while we're testing this. So we're gonna have some like flames up here in the dirt and spread out a little bit. Um, I think the idea is I'm only gonna have to do one side and then I'll flip them one direction. Um, it'll have a few different angles. Probably just have them saved as individual. that I can reuse later on for other stuff, just with a simple recolor, probably. So let's just grab the flame colors here. So this is the default, like, little explodey animation it gives you, and there's a ton of, like, effects you can adjust. So I've only used this a little bit, but it was pretty fun. A pretty cool tool. Um, let's see how this is. So it's got the brightest. So for us, we want this color to be the brightest. I wonder if this has a, uh... Doesn't have a grabber. Get that copied.
these three, we'll add another color. Add one more darker color, since we got four to use here. I guess we probably need four, but maybe, maybe you do. Looks good. So it's like mostly the dark color, which I don't want off the bat. Those presets were different simulation types. get off of that screen so we don't make that mistake again. Some fancy mathematical names here. McCormick weight. Don't know what it does. Like focuses in on the smaller bits. Don't necessarily. It looks cool. Do a little bit pressure type.
like the right facing flame first. What is delay? Queen, yeah. Three with some delay. Circular it starts out. I don't know how much I can change that. We got A and B acceleration was there. Bit negative. Um, I'll add some X acceleration. Reading out the side. Looks like A did something with like the kind of like particle size. At the end. It also like reverses the direction, which is what I thought it would do. But like. Adjust the velocity over time or something.
fun tools post FX try out as well save this again so this adjusts like how it looks oh that's cool though very cool. I wish there was a setting that just the overall speed. That looks cool if it was slowed down as far as like the shape of it. Because it's different than that. That doesn't not quite what I want. So I'd like, like, a quick horizontal movement that gets dampened a little bit. I got that turned up. Oops. 
Looks like a little, little baby core. <laughs> That's too long. Mm. That did some cool stuff. There we go. That looks more flamey. That looks really nice. I don't want quite that much upward acceleration though. Not that strong of initial horizontal either. Velocity, what was this one? Sticking around for a, little, a while longer. Here, let's record that. Actually, save it. Let's play around with the post effects. Here's 
No, that's all flash. Tint. Tint to white over time. Um. for other stuff, but not this. Okay. So this just adjusts the preview. Frames do we got? 52. There's an easy way to avoid the perfect circle starting. You might just have the animation start like right here. But for now, let's get this added and see what that looks like. Jumping, if 
the landing. This is when they hit the ground. Um, let's just make a method for it. Destroy on complete true, so it automatically gets removed. Alright, let's see if that does anything. Yeah? Close. We need to make it smaller. Yeah, the, uh, this to be offset, too. It's like the center of the sprite frame is all the way over here. I want it to be there. I need to shrink the entire size of it. Here we go, this is where I can adjust the... ...starting shape. Resets. It's the only presets. Um, it probably needs to be like... Add a new starting thing.
Already shrinks the scale down to that. Oh, this is an update. Record, there we go. This looks much nicer. Alright, it's 45 by 51. Does it actually get cut off on the right? Or is that just an illusion? I think it's just an illusion of how it happened to export. Let's...
this. Needs to be adjusted. 433. X is probably pretty good. Y575. It needs to be a bit like here. I should add another one to the other side. Cool. Looking better. Now I just need to fill in all the other gaps. I'll probably put... Up and it down. And like at least two, probably three in between as well. In case you're wondering. So we got right. Um, I basically need to, there's like several things, there's not just a single angle. I think I still want the slight Y upward that's like the flame going up. But this should slowly be adjusted to zero. And then A and B, I don't know what's going on there. The velocity that Y and then should be something like this. Pretty good. Let's do that. So this will be ninety. Seven
Probably not that far down. Indeed. I don't have a flip up and down. Just realized that. Um, I think I moved something else. horizontal one down there. The up is fine. What? Uh, no, this is the name. That's what's going on. There we go. I think that was the only mistake.
There we go, that, that is looking much better. So we just need to fill in the gaps and then it'll look even better. And even like... These are just unconnected sprites. They're not um, entity objects, so I can't just call create Z board, but I can copy the math. Whatever I use for that. Instead of just copying the giant slime's Z, I'm going to recalculate the Z. That would do the same thing. I need to recalculate it with this.
Okay, it'll calculate the Z from the flames. Why? So the right flame was behind me there. It's in front there. Good. Let's test these other ones. Five, six, nine. Yep, yeah, they're being adjusted accordingly. So. Alright, so next, let's just fill in the gaps.
Alright, let's test that out. Should add two more diagonal flames on the bottom. It's gonna be trial and error. They get these animations positioned. So one. Alright, we'll do flip. Rename this rotated. Just call it up. These are for all the ups. We also need ups for both of these to do the up left and up right. Organize these so they're beside one another.
think it should be flipped. Not flipped. I think it should be flipped. No rotation is there. So I want to also flip it. I can't do from here. So if you rotate them like that, do the opposite flip. but we don't flip. For some reason I'm thinking this is only going to work for 45 degrees and the other one's going to be funky. Or maybe not. That's good. That fixed it. to put in all of the gaps just to fill in some more flames. Seven to thirty one. Forty two frames. Let's go ahead and make the other one, which is
have to adjust that, it's fine. Forty frames. Six. This is just going to be trial and error. might not be bad why
You move down like 20 on the Y, maybe. I need up versions, both of these. The opposite flips. good. And we just got four more gaps to fill in. The animation I've already made. Let's copy this. 45. Guessing for now on the positioning. Okay, I just need to position them better. The 
these guys. 418 needs to be about there, so over 10. Whoops. Like these kind of go out a little too far. The zero, twenty two, and forty five.
something down here. 120, 76, 
think that looks better for the uh, the right and left. Need to adjust. Eight frames. Adjust the position. Better. I just got that one place playing right now. I 
so it's not 45. It's the sentence. And I accidentally overwrote 45. Um, let's see here. Thirty seven, thirty three, and forty frames. So it starts way off, which is fine. I think we might be good soon. Just need to adjust this to start. Pretty good, pretty good. Nice and circular.
I need to- he still has collision detection. It doesn't hurt you, but... Push him there. I need to do that. Fix that at some point. I'm gonna make a note. Flames are looking pretty good. I'm seeing if there's any final tweaks I want to make. This frame looks a little off here. But like, Rex itself, it's probably not gonna even be noticeable at full speed. Today is uh, update the collision box for that to include the flames. Smaller than that. And then I'll use the frame of the animation, grow it, and then remove it. At least at this point. So right now, the way I'm doing that. I was just using kind of a static collider, but I'll update that so that I can animate it.
at on the frame and then we'll update the capsule size. Here, let's call it size, okay. Cool. This will be on the landing animation. Seven frames. So, just 
throw in some numbers here. Five are gonna be the most false. All right, that was a lot of stuff. I probably forgot something. down here buddy gotta test out your colliders all right uh so there it is does it grow with the animation I think it does It's growing, just barely noticeable. All right, it needs to be at its max. Get that like this. Shift this down a little bit to that zero. Aside from okay. yeah, the collider plays out and then it's disabled, but then re-enabled for a frame there. A few frames. Being enabled there. Ground clown. 
the object or the collider. It's out, and then, as expected, the object's still active, the collider's disabled. And the collider gets re enabled. That's uh, because. Slime is set to a new animation, but this still happens. Seems to be detecting a different animation. It's weird. I don't see how, so I just want to confirm that. even though I don't know why it gets reset. Okay, this is an easy fix, but I don't know why it's done. Seven. Eight. Oh, it's got default up here, too. That's why. Is that that crash if there's not an option or does it just skip it? I think it just skips. Probably use default for a specific reason in another attack, but I don't need it here. So the collider gets enabled on frame. Zero. Or frame one. Well, it should. Let's say that. Not a good reading. Does not come back. Make sure it works for another second time. Yes. Why did it do it this way? 
be re-enabled. So there is flame effects. Awesome. That looks a lot better, a lot more interesting. Um, that'll be it for today. I do enjoy doing uh, these little effects like that. Yeah, he he uh he freezes if you're attacking at the wrong time. Just not intended, but also already known. So yeah, fluid FX did the job. We got we got some flames in a nice little circle here. Good stuff. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know what I'm gonna do next stream, but we'll figure it out. Um, might be more enemy prototypes, it might be another effect like this. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching.